Welcome back to Josh the Driving Instructor. In today's special episode, we have Chadders once again, and he's about to embark on his journey over some really, really tight bridges. Now, you're not going to see these bridges just about anywhere, but here in Staffordshire, they are on your driving test or one of the possible test routes. And to be honest, it is just something that you should know. So if you're looking to figure out how you should take very, very tight lanes, very, very tight bridges such as this, then stay tuned. If you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. What is it? I can't remember what, the, what that sign is. What shape is it? An N. An N. So it's got how many, what's, what, what, it's got two sharp? Uh, two sharp turns. Yeah, two sharp bends. Okay. So what, good man. Would you say there's enough room here for two cars on this section? Not really, no. That's it. Looking clear, isn't it? Looking nice and tight to the outside. How was that? It's okay, it's the first. As we just saw, Chad has rightly slowed the car right down to less than 10 miles an hour. In fact, he came to a full stop when the BMW was coming past because it just wasn't tight enough for two cars. If you go through something like this, the most important thing is that you just slow down. Good. Was that any easier than last time? Yeah. So what was the difference? I don't know. What's this sign mean? Yeah, it says single file <laughs> traffic, so that's it. So what's the road going to do? Go into one. It's going to go into one. Yeah. So how should we approach it? Slow. Slow. Stay nice and tight to the kerb. Keep going. Right, just be ready to, to stop the cars there. There we go. Okay. So what sign's coming up? Roundabout. So yeah, so this time you said it was more comfortable. Were you going faster or slower this time? Oh, just slower. So, how did that help? Say again, sorry. How did that help? What um, did we say earlier? With your positioning. With your positioning? Yeah. yeah, it's tight, isn't it? Yeah. So what does that tell you in an area when it's quite tight? What do you need to make sure you do? Well, plenty of space. If an area is really tight, yeah. Um, how I'll go slow. Go slower. Yeah, yeah slow down a bit. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we can go to the unmarked crossroads, but if you want to leave that and you want to do some spirals instead or a bit, bit of town driving, whatever works for you. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's follow the road ahead. Second exit, good. Which way do you give way to on a roundabout? Uh, right or... Right or straight on? Right yeah. Good. I don't know why I was, I was just looking. No, no, that's okay, and it's good to check. I just don't want you to see a car there yeah. and go, freeze! Like musical statues or something, you know? So Chadder seems ready to move on from those tight bridges, so we're now going to move on to some spiral roundabouts in the town centre, Chadder's next big nemesis. So stay tuned if you want to see some more of that. In the weekend never used to bother me. No. No, you worked in a pub, so. What, you worked in a pub? Yeah, I used to manage Assistant manager at pub eight years ago, back in the back in the day. So I used to work every weekend, God sent. But um, now, pfft, no chance. So roundabout, we're turning well, right or straight on what be second exit, um, and then we're going to be turning right again. Is that okay? Are you looking for? We're looking for space, aren't we? Is there space to go? Yeah. Go on then. Jump in the. Okay. All right. Yeah. That first. 
first roundabout, we, we looked like we were struggling a little bit. Were we okay? Yeah, I was all right. So yeah. Just being overly cautious again. Overly cautious. Things, things are what do we look for when we're at a roundabout? It's just the right turn. It's just on the right turn. Yes, we're looking to the right, but what are we looking for to the right? Space. Space. Not. What are we not looking for? Cars. Yeah. yeah? You don't want to look for cars, you want to look for space. Then that's what we'll do too much. Bit of practice. Yeah, and then it confuses me where they're going to go then, John. Yes. Yes. That's it. So when, when we're looking for cars as well, not well, when we're looking for cars, when we're looking for space, if we see a car and we're trying to understand where they're going, there's three things that we need to look for. The, the, the triangle, like I like to call it, the judgment triangle. So I'll let you focus on this. So on the roundabout, follow signs for Stone 834. Is that okay? So we're approaching the roundabout. Benefited anyone? If you don't feel like you would have benefited, then no. I, I possibly would have signaled just because it's a roundabout, it just keeps it in a good habit. Um, and if you've got time, then why not? What you did need to make sure is was there two lanes that merged into one there? Not too sure. Okay, so there was possibly another lane that merged in on the right side. So oh, yeah, there was, yeah. If there was a car coming up there, yeah. what, it could have been. One yeah. of those. So, what do you need to do to check there's not a car there? Mirror. Which mirror? Yeah, middle one, right mirror. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, anytime two lanes merge into one. Yeah. Got a nice break in there. Yeah, so when we're trying to figure out where cars go, there's, there's three things we're looking for. So, when you approach a roundabout, you can see you're looking for space, but there's a car coming. You're trying to figure out if you've got space to go. Yeah. Where? How, how are you going to tell where that car's going? What can you look for? So this next roundabout we're coming to is an absolute monster. It's actually got buildings on the center of the roundabout. It's so big. Um, Chad has often struggles with this roundabout, so we're gonna have another go at it today and see if we can figure out the correct lanes to be in. Yeah, um, as an example. Not a great example, but you know what I mean. So I think we've managed to get this roundabout wrong almost every single time so far, haven't we? <laughs> Which it doesn't matter if we do, but we'll have another go. Yeah? yeah? I don't think the lanes are very clearly marked, are they? Mm -hmm. So we're heading for Stone A34. Yeah. So which lane are we starting off in? That's correct. Are we approaching the roundabout? So what gear might be on, sir? Good. Nice. Bit of coffee. Waffy. Hmm. Talk to me. When you go ahead, which lane? The right lane? Yeah. Cool. And then after that, which lane after that as you get around the corner? Yeah, I'm moving to the middle, don't I? Mm. I think you do, but where do you need to check before you start moving across? Yeah, which ones? So this is a pretty typical spiral roundabout. You, you start off in the right lane and then you just follow your, your lanes for where you need to go. In our case, we're looking for stone A34. So we start in the right lane and as we get round the roundabout, we have to move across into the middle lane. Okay, so what's more important? Is it more important that you get across into this lane or that you check your mirrors? Check my mirrors. Why? Well, someone, someone there could have been someone there, couldn't there? Yeah. Then it would have been an old situation, yeah? So as we saw, Chadders was far better at changing lanes today, if not slightly rushed, but he did forget to check his mirrors. I had to remind him, which is so unbelievably important on, on a roundabout such as this, because there could so easily be a car there. So if in doubt, stay in your lane, but whatever you do, always check your mirrors.
position and a bit better in two lanes there, my friend. Yeah. Road markings are terrible, aren't they? But if you've got a curb here, try and stick to it. Following signs for stone. Lights have been green a while, so what are you thinking in your head? Stop. There we go, that they're going to change any second, yeah? That they could do. So you'd carry on, but you'd already be mentally thinking you'd, you'd be preparing for them to start to change. So you wouldn't change your pedals at all, yeah. um, but you'd just be thinking about it. That's our block of drain this morning. Did you? Mm. Yeah. Fun. So maybe what I stood in wasn't done, but... <laughs> I had a good start to the line, I don't It was, it was a good start, yeah. <laughs> Got me marigold, son. Got me, me, me pipe out, the hose on. It was lovely, mate. Real tasty treat. You got an eye on your mirrors? around you, what have you seen? Cars. Cars? <laughs> what car? Do you not see the van? No, I don't see the van. Is your mirror set properly? Can you, look, can you see the hole in the back window? Yeah. Maybe it's just positioning of mine because I'm on the left side, aren't I? Yeah. So you need to keep an eye on your mirrors a bit more maybe. Yeah? yeah? Would you like to go towards the station and round again? Or would you like to carry on heading towards the stone? Yeah, it can do, yeah. Station? Yeah. So, left lane? Okay, what well, did that, did you let that van know where you were going there, or the bus? No? So what could that bus have done then? Could have pulled off, couldn't he? So what do you need? So Chad has changed lanes very nicely there, but he actually forgot to signal at all. And there was a bus there, so the bus could have potentially pulled out, not knowing that we were actually preparing to come across into that lane. This would have gone down as a minor if, because the bus stayed, but it could have easily been a serious fault if it was a driving test. Man, didn't cost you much there, did it? So there's lots of those lanes merging into one, so you've got to keep an eye around here, okay? We know how busy this place is, don't we? Yeah. Turn left of the roundabout. Good man. Nice. And then when we get to the mini roundabout, we're going to turn right. Chad, as you've forgotten to signal again here, well, it's actually, you did signal, but it's actually gone off, but still, you need to make sure your signal goes back on. If this was a driving test, it would go down as a minor, and only a minor at the moment, because it didn't cause any harm or any issues for anyone else. Which lane? You've got two signs here that both show this is a one-way system, and that you need to select the correct lane. And this is why in town it is so important that we're using our forward planning and observation skills to keep an eye on those trigger signs. It's all right, look at the sign. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what do we need to do? Good. Might be worth checking your blind spot if there's uh, if there's two lanes going the same way. Yeah. Because a car could easily be sitting in the blind spot yeah. and going at the same speed as you. Make sense? Look at that man's positioning. How's his positioning? Is that, is it fine, so? Yeah, what do you think he's doing? He's turning. Oh, he's, yeah, he's pulling over, as you say. Okay. What's this sign mean? So, what did you, should you have done? Check, Check your left mirror instead. What's this trigger sign here? Turning right. Good. 
traffic coming from both ways. I mean. That was a giveaway sign, the one on the left. The other oh. one was traffic coming from both ways. What signs this mean? Okay, so we're turning right and around about second exit. Any trigger signs? Sure. What's coming up? Round junction. So it's a round junction, so what would you call the round? See the shape on that? What's oh, that? yeah. What is it? Roundabout. It's a roundabout. Yeah. Turning left at the roundabout first exit. Nice. So see he stopped. So what should we do while he stops? Go on then. There you go. That's called space. Yeah. So this is really common for learners to do. It happens every single day. Uh, they tend to come to a roundabout, a mini roundabout, and they get completely flummoxed and start looking at the previous junction and wondering why the person's actually stopped. And instead of thinking there's space there and going, they start staring at the car and planning and trying to work out why is that person stopped. Nice mirrors. Was there anything around that you noticed? Bush. Okay, good. Are we on the road ahead? So Chad is just about to have a little bit of a sausage moment. If you watch this black car on the right hand side, uh, it throws Chad off a little bit. And he, even though the, the guy's indicating, I think maybe Chad was looking in the wrong direction. Um, the guy's indicating the other way. Chad gets himself a bit confused and thinks the guy's gonna cut back in front of him and starts trying to slam the brake on. Still on his side of the line though, yeah? Yeah. Where were you looking prior to that? Just trying to straight on. Were you? Were you? Yeah? No, fair, fair. So that was one of those situations where you see the lights have been green for a while? Yeah. Especially in town? Yeah. What are they always going to do? Change. They're going to change, aren't they? So if you just got that mentally in your head. Yeah. What could we use while we wait in here? Yeah, See that one over there? That's your light. I mean, you can use any of them, but this one's more for the lorries. Yeah? All good? Yeah. Any questions? No. So this is a real awkward moment and there is a car behind us as well. Chad has seen this bus coming at us uh, that wants to cross over and he's treated uh, our particular lane as a give way lane when it's not, it's a continuous road and instead the bus should be giving way to us, which he does. Unfortunately, Chad just has a little moment of panic. This would go down as a serious fault if this was a driving test. What's going on here? Carry on, carry on, carry on. Left lane, left lane, that's it. Yeah, no signal, into first, second. Okay. And then the second lane along. Who was? Well done. Yeah, what was that? What was okay, that? What was so that? which direction was the bus turning? It was going straight across one. Right? Yeah, think if you were the bus. Yeah. Okay, so if you were the bus, which way would you have been turning? Left, straight on, or right? If I was the bus? Yes. Straight on. You weren't going straight on as a bus then. The road was curving around to the left. The bus was turning off that road. Doesn't matter how the road was curving, which way he was turning oh, into a new road, yeah, yeah. which direction? Right. Right. Yeah. So whose path was he crossing? Mine. Yours. So whose right away was it? Mine. Whose priority? It was your priority. Yeah. So what should we have done? Just carried on. Carried on. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, well, as you say, I, th I think you've said why. 
the curse of the bus. To you, it looked like the bus was going straight on. Yeah. So in your mind, we were almost turning right, even though the road, because the road was curving right. Yeah. Was that something to do with it? Yeah, more than that. So what have you learned from it? Do you try it on, but uh, carry on next time. Well, yes, but that's not, that's, yeah, that's not the problem. I think you know that. If it, was it more, wasn't it, is it more that you followed the curve of the road rather than thinking about the lines on the road? Yeah, I think so. Does that make sense? Yeah. So because our road curved right, you felt like we were... So because that situation didn't go fantastically, we're gonna go around town one more time just so Chad finishes off his lesson on a high and actually understands for future reference what he needs to do. That, that was, it had the hatch in, in the center. You know what that means? It means don't start. Um, but his road also had give way markings. So that shows it was a new road. Does that make sense? It was a junction basically. Can we get some support for Chad in the chat? How do you think he's doing with his spiral roundabouts? Would you be doing any better as a learner around Stafford right now? And don't forget, if you're enjoying the video, like and subscribe. Going into. I thought we were going to go to the left lane. Central Mirror, left mirror signal. Yeah. And then into the left lane a bit more, that's it. Let's see what goes. Good man, now why are you telling that? Look behind you, see that car? Good man, well done. Otherwise, where do you think you're gonna go? Uh, thinks I'm turning in there. Thinks you're going down there. A common fault that often occurs when we're approaching traffic lights or after we've changed lanes is we forget to turn our signal back off, which then confuses people behind us because they could think we're actually taking the next junction on the left, like in this case, when actually we're not, we're continuing on ahead. And that will end up with a minor fault and it could easily turn into a serious fault if someone was actually pulling out the junction and chose to pull out because of your signal. Well done. How long did it take you to check your mirrors? Half a second? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't take a lot of time, does it? I'm going to turn left again. about third exit right. So what's you want for the rest of the day? Uh, nothing much to be honest with you. Just chilling. Just on the chill. Okay, which lane? Nice mirror check there, well done. This sign on the what both sides, what does that mean? Not too sure. One way. One way. Okay, any signs that you can see? Um traffic. Traffic both traffic ways. Both ways. Excellent. This is so unbelievably important any time you approach at the end of a one-way system, a one-way road. If you are turning right out of the one-way road, you need to make sure your car is positioned on the right-hand side, because if you don't, this will 100% be a test fail on your driving test. Yes. 
was your position in there? Yeah, it looked to me like you were going into the other lane a little bit. And you had a big gap on my side. On the approach to the roundabout. It's okay. So how close are you to that white line now? Have you got loads of space or? Good, that's better. As you get closer to junctions, if it's multiple lanes, just slow down so you again your positioning. Good. See how tight it is here? So you've really got to get on those double yellows here. Yeah? That's better. You're absolutely fine. You've got loads of room on my side. That's, that's great. It's absolutely fine. How much room you got on your side? Yeah, to the white line? Yeah, plenty. Plenty. How much would you say? Centimetres? 30, 40, 50? Yeah, smaller. So yeah, all I'm saying is you just want to aim for the centre of your lane yeah. while we're on a, a forward positioning generally. Yeah? So try and keep it even on both sides. It looks a little bit like you're hugging the right the white line sometimes and that's where the cars are. So, see the sign, bus is only left. Lights are green. Why are we slowing down? So don't worry about a signal, okay? Because what are you telling people otherwise? position here, where should it be? Make sense? Yeah, so if you signal, you were telling people you're going to the right lane, yeah. and we weren't going to the right lane, we were onto the left lane. From that lane, you're the only car, yeah. so you can go either into the left lane or the middle lane. The right lane, you're going to have people in the right lane. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Okay. I did it because, um, you know, that one that was going into the car park. Yes. Yeah, I see. Yeah, no, completely understand. We're about to take a different route here using a spiral roundabout. We're actually taking a third exit right. For this particular route, there are two lanes that actually go to this road. Chad very quickly assumes that we need to be in the right lane when actually, if there's more than one lane turning right, you want to try and always choose the left lane. The left lane is always best. This gives people the opportunity to overtake in the overtaking lane if absolutely necessary or if they choose to. If you do end up choosing the overtaking lane and there's no actual reason for it and you stay in there, this could very well lead to a serious fault. Meant to be looking down there at that sign there. No, 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 stay here, just stay here. See how many signs are saying Stone A34? How many lanes, sorry? For Stone, can you see Stone oh, at the top? Two. two. So which lane, are we in the okay lane for yeah, A34? Fine, yeah. yeah? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Sorry if I was confusing you there. That's all right. I've just came in the fucking house. Right. So we're in the left lane, so where are we going to come off? Good man. Where do you need to keep an eye? Yeah? yeah. You need to look at your, your surroundings, look at your right. That is the end of Chadwick's lesson. If you enjoyed that, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see the next one that's coming up. Thank you very much, Chad, for all your hard work and support.